Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the repeater field, a field that will allow users to manually create duplicates of certain fields in your form. Sometimes you'll want to capture multiple sets of similar information from users, like work references, a list of guests who will be attending an event, and so on. Rather than trying to predict how many of these fields a user will need on the form, you can use the repeater field to allow them to add as many fields as they need themselves. With that said, let's jump right in. Starting off in the form builder, you'll want to either use an existing form or create a new form from scratch. For this example, I'm going to load an existing form, which is a job application. I have a section specifically for previous experience and references where I'd like a user to be able to list any previous jobs they've had and references that I can contact on their behalf. For previous experience, I have a single line text field for them to enter the name of the company and their title and a phone number field. For references, I have a name field and another phone number field. Normally, you'd have to make an educated guess or decide how many fields you're going to need. For example, you might tell a user that they need a minimum of three previous jobs or references. But if you'd like to let users decide how many of each they want to include, this is where the repeater field can be a huge help. From the left side, find the repeater field, add it to your form, and click on it to reveal its settings. You can update the field's label and then choose your display type, either rows or blocks. The rows option is ideal in situations where each piece of information is entered separately. With this display option, you can only place fields side by side rather than stacking them. In this display, a user will click on the plus or minus icon at the end of the row to repeat a field. The blocks option gives you a bit more flexibility with arranging your fields and is great for grouping related fields together. You can add fields, stack them, and create multiple columns if you'd like. With this display, a user will click on the add or remove buttons at the bottom to repeat a field. Next are the layout options, which you can click on to preview how they will look on the right. These are really similar to the options in the layout field if you've ever used it before. Below the layout options are some additional settings which can change depending on if you selected rows or blocks. If rows is selected, then the only setting you'll see will be one called limit, where you can set a minimum and maximum number of times these fields can be repeated. If you select blocks, you'll see the following fields. Button type, button labels, in addition to the limit setting. Button type allows you to choose different styles of buttons, use just symbols or text. You'll also be able to customize the label of the buttons if you'd like. If you're only using icons, then this option will not be available. Now that we know how to configure the field settings, let's set up our fields. I'm choosing the blocks display option since I want to group all of the previous employer information together. I'm going to add two single line text fields, one for the company name and title held, and a phone number field. Next, I'm going to leave the button type as it is and customize the limit field so that users won't be able to repeat these fields more than five times. I also want to set up the section for references, so I'm going to add another repeater field and add in a name field and a phone number field inside it. For the display, this time I'm going to use rows instead of blocks and I'm going to set the repeater limit to five. Now that my fields are set up, I'm going to save my changes and preview the form. And as you can see, if I click on the Add button, a new set of repeated fields will appear, and if I click Remove, they'll be deleted. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to use the repeater field in WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. And if you need any extra help, please visit our contact page and reach out to one of our trusted advisors.